Lisa Marie of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy. Ancient African wisdom for the modern sister. Hey, y'all, do we have light? Is this enough light for you? Are you feeling light filled? Yes, we had to add the colors. We had to add the colors to the outfit that I kind of just made up anyway. So, hey, hey, y'all, come through, come through. I am hyped tonight. I am feeling no pain, but I want this light to work. I'm so, I'm so working with this light. I don't understand what's going on with this damn light. Why not? Why not? Okay. I'll get it fixed. I'll get it fixed. I'll get it fixed, okay? That's what's going to happen. I think there's enough light. We got enough lights. No, but we got enough light. And wait a second, doll. That's not what's going on. Wait, you can't see my other... Oh, I'm going to have to reposition. We need to reposition those. <laughs> we need to move it over some. Move it over. It's like a crystal ball. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. It's, it's, this is what's happening. Now you get the crystals. I could have really made it worse. I don't really know. But it's a crystal ball. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> crystal ball. You're getting sleepy. No, you're not getting sleepy. <laughs> you're not getting sleepy. You lifted. You lifted. Lifted. So listen, y'all. I was really thinking because today was a beautiful day because I didn't go outside and I didn't run the streets. I actually stayed in because I wanted to see the paint and I thought that we were going to maybe paint the whole wall but it didn't happen and I so basically I let them clean and then the paint and I wound up staying in and I knew the universe wanted me to because I got to watch the YouTube videos so first I want to comment on the videos about this is now I'm going to comment on the videos about art, since about Art Kathy I love to hear your opinion we never talk about it but Art Kathy of the Gambia the Gambia is, is hating on her no, they don't like her, right? I mean, let's just face it. They don't, they, she's not their favorite person. You know, she's not the number one. But, you know, like I said, I didn't see all the... I only saw really one whole video. And then I saw... I, I heard of some of the stuff she talks about. And I'm not against what she's revealing. And this is what I'm telling you. Like, let me just say that. But I, I gotta say, I never really saw... I never saw the offensive stuff. I'm sure it was highly offensive. I know black Americans, we have a way of saying things. We don't really sugarcoat it. And I think that a lot of... I think a lot of Africans in general are not like that. And I just want you to know that we got a lot of fire as diasporans in general. And I think, of course, people from the U.S. And I think that we are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And we, we believe that we are just as African as anybody else. Is our delivery a little harsh? Yes, at times. Are we kind of relentless? Yes, at times. Are we sometimes insensitive? Yes, at times. But are we lying? I don't think so. You know, one thing I remember when I was, it was on a, I was on a Facebook or something, and this article came out, of, so an article in a white newspaper you know, for, online, and it was about the, I don't know, the PDO, I'm just gonna call it the PDO, the PEDO, uh, a situation going on in the Gambia, and I, I, that thing stayed in my head forever, knowing what our children are going through. And so this is a fact. This is this is other white folks that saw it and said, "What the hell? What is going on on these beaches? These grown people, these little kids. You know what I'm saying? On, like that. I don't know how no one's not in the uproar about that. And so if this sister is telling you about that, y'all need to just stop, stop, get, get over the message or the delivery. That's wrong. And why are y'all sitting there going for that? You know, the article says something that said that this was a, a, a white person, I think, writing an article. And it was, of course, interviewing other white folks. It was a lot, some of the white women said, yeah, you know, what I think is that the police is not questioning this, which is some out and out unusual behavior, you know, because they they don't feel like they can talk to this big powerful white man and tell him what to do so the fear that sometimes you have of them a lot of black Americans just don't and i think that you we do need to speak on that and we do need to put a stop to it and if some people are selling their children and they want to act like they don't know what they selling them into shame on us as all as a, as a people so in all reality it is happening and the article was not no black person or no black american writing it it was, a, it was another paper that was so-called reputable, and I'm just saying. You know what's happening. So now we got this young sister named Tiffany Banner. This sister, 19, 20 years old, Jamaican-American, a dope sister, loved this little girl. She in Tanzania causing hell. Now, I heard she had two videos showing the same kind of behavior in Tanzania. 
And what they were saying was that yeah, these countries are dumping their inappropriate behavior people into the African continent because they know we're not going to do anything about it and they know the government's not going to do anything about it. So now we're talking about Tanzania and she exposed it. They took her videos down. So what I'm trying to tell you is, see, now I'm, I'm going to put, uh, Kathy, I know no, she's younger than me. She might not be a youth youth, but she's putting fire under people's behind. And I think that we should wake up. Now, the whole thing, you got a new master, oh, that's, that's just, that's not right. And the fact is, you know, in, disrespecting the women, no, we don't need that. And I, I feel like she's growing. I feel like she's changing. And I feel like she's going to change. She is saying, it was interesting because I was watching a video and it was all the men was all for her and all the women was like, she's despicable. And once it says, interesting that the men are behind her, the women are not. Look at that. She has a revolution spirit. But I do think that, that that's the only thing I'm going to say is we're going to have, before we can have a war with them, we're about to have a war with us if we're not careful. Because I do think that black Americans or diaspora, and some, some, some look like it's black Americans right now, uh, we need to learn how to not come in somebody else's home and tell them how stupid they are and what they're doing wrong, because that's not going to get us far. Some of the stuff that is being said, that's being seen, is, is absolutely the truth. And I do think that, but, but let me tell you, so R. Kathy is one, and like I said, I don't know her. I have no judgment on her. What I hear her say, oh, I saw one video, she was like, why we keep voting knowing this ain't going to work for us? Like, I mean, she, I, I'm going to be honest, I see a little, I'm just going to say, like, I do see a little bit of myself in her and a little bit of her in me. So I, and I, only in that she says it and that's it, and she's bold with it, and she's not afraid to be, Pan Africanism. She's not afraid to be bold, and I admire that. I admire that. At the same time, no, I, I am afraid that we're going to do the takeover thing, and we're going to make them like y'all just so ridiculous and stupid and slow and docile. You need us to make it. I, that I, I am so against that. So my African brothers and sisters, I'm way against that. Like I'm not for that, and I think that's going to be the destruction of us all. And I think that black Americans do still, we should tread respectfully. We should have tables with all of us at it. We should come to some conclusions. We should tell them what we see and how we see it and ask the Africans some of the best ways to approach it. We should wake up people, but we should do it respectfully. So at the same time, now we about to flip this script here. At the same time, it don't matter what the 30, the 40 year olds and the 50 year olds and the 60 year olds and the 70, 80 and 90s and the, Think, because you know what? The youth brings change. The youth brings the change. When you see this young Tiffany Banner, and she going in, and, and when I'm looking at her videos, and I'm looking at the comments, these young people is like, we from Tanzania, we from Nigeria, we from, we behind you. The youth is going to change it all anyway. So all us old heads, all us older so-called people that's like, this is despicable. She shouldn't talk like that with our elders. Not Tiffany Banner, but let's just say the other sister, Eh, whether you like it or not, it ain't nothing you can do because you ain't going to be out in them streets. And you ain't going to bring the change. What we can do is, is be respectful to them and ask and allow them to ask us for help where help is needed. I love on her thing. Brothers and sisters, like, this is how you do it. This is how you fight it. We got you, sister. You need protection. Call us. Here's money. We're going to send. Because you can see, and this is Tiffany. I'm talking about Tiffany Banner, the young girl. You can see she's on fire. And we need to protect and, and support this youth and support the youths like that. We have to understand, like, I, did, I know maybe we shocked, oh my God, or even like Art Kathy, oh my God, she said that, oh my God, but wait, what, what y'all, this was happening before she came. Was y'all not going to say nothing? Was y'all not, was y'all going to let this thing do this to your children? This is your children. Like, I mean, I'm sensitive, like, you could do a, you mess with the children, I'm going to have a problem too. Now, the new master, and like I said, that okay, her ego, you know, you be getting pumped up. You know, she got pumped, okay? She got a little pump. It wasn't cool. I, 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 I didn't see it, but I saw one video where she was talking about, and I know, you know, I have some friends that's in the Gambia, and they, I know my brother ain't really been really feeling her, but she taking no prisoners, okay? She, she, she kicking ass, taking names. She, I mean, what we going to do? Like, well, we need to say something. And if she's saying some stuff that might be working, okay. And now let the youth continue this 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 thing. 
And see what I see with Tiffany Banner though, which I love is she's getting the gun, she's getting all of Africa involved. The other youth are inspired by her and have been saying, I've been feeling this way too. So African youths are restless too. African youths are wait, youth are waiting for us to die too. And the fact is, this so-called whatever you want to call the pandemic, whatever, it's taken out a lot of us and it's taken out the old heads. Because if we don't change and we don't understand that these youth cannot wait for us, that they're sick and tired of being sick and tired, that every generation during every movement has been young people, under 35, that's the youth. So there's nothing we can do but support them and love them and, and back them up and, and give them money and, and to protect them. Africa's about to be liberated one way or another, but the thing we have to not do is repeat. So people talk about the Liberia, the Sierra Leone, where we came in and thought we knew everything. We don't. And if we don't respect the folks that's already here and we don't work together, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be worse. I mean, think of it, people like, oh, well, they have the Chinese oppressors, the white oppressors, so we should be oppressors too? What kind of nonsense is that? That's some damn nonsense. And I'm not with that. I'm not with that. I'm with working together. I'm with making, hey, I'm bringing my revolution through art. I'm doing my revolution through decor. I'm bringing my revolution through black pride. The fact that I wear the clothes and they comment on it, the fact that I'm decorating my house, you should see Susie, Kojo, Faustina. Like I said, Elaine, and you asked that question, they are deeply affected and deeply inspired. And so it's working. We all have our part to play, but Africa is going to change the world and diasporans and Africans together will do it. I promise you this. It's funny, I was watching that Ivy Prosper video where she had live at the something corner and it was a bar and restaurant and they had live music. And the sister that was singing, I didn't see the whole thing, her voice was absolutely beautiful. It was like a neo soul type style. Oh yeah, it was, it was like a neo soul type style. And it was, uh, and it was, and she was like, F the colonizers, F the oppressors. I mean, and she was African. I mean, what, y'all? Just like when America was burn, baby, burn, we was having, we was having all kinds of revolutionaries on Stephen Biko. We can go, you know, uh, Samora Michelle. I mean, we could go on and on. Revolutionaries don't just come, you know, Natty did it in a Zimbabwe. Mashed it up in a Zimbabwe, African delivering Zimbabwe. I mean, like, it's so, it's up, we got to, it, it's, it's done, y'all. Ain't nothing nobody can do. It's on, as we say. It's on. That's how we're going to stay alive, especially the ones that's older. Don't get in these youth way. Don't get in these kids way. Okay, you don't like the way she said it, but what does she say? Just tell me, if she said anything that's a lie, then we got a problem. Now, she rude, okay, that ain't cool. But like I said, I think she's growing. And I think, I, I'm praying she will grow. Now, I found it hard that I go, like when I tuned in just a little bit, like I said, I'm talking about the eldest sister, Art Kathy. I'm just older compared to the younger one. I mean, I, I mean, when she talked, I, my truth radar was like, hey, that's kind of what just... Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, a little harsh, but it did say she said it. You know what I'm saying? And then like but I said when I hear other things that she's they said she said, I'll be like, okay, Queen, you know, hey, call me, you know, be nice. <laughs> be nice. Because I know I'm bold. So I'm gonna appreciate bold. I need straight up. I don't need fake. I tell you that. At the same time, I need respect. And I can understand how the youth is not youth, but people are responding. But if you never responding, these youth is responding to Tiffany Banner and the rest of the people about to come. It's interesting, too, that the two revolutionaries right now on the continent is women. You know what I'm saying? Two sisters. Actually, you know what? We all revolutionary. I feel like, you know, E.S. from Ela Migrate, so she's, a, I was putting her as an older woman as far as she's not 25, right? She's doing a revolutionary by building housing, by building healing centers. That's what I called her. I told you it's a trauma unit. She got it. And I feel like I speak out and I've never not spoke out about the liberation of us and us through our esteem and being proud of who we are and bringing our objects into our home. We all fighting the revolution. My friends in the Gambia that's tight, spicy, tasty, vegan, they're using food to keep us healthy so we can keep going, keep us strong, knowledge of ourselves and our bodies. 
We have to not fight with each other. And that is how we're going to win. So I am very excited about this time. But don't worry, revolution ain't just happening on the continent because we need a border. We need a bridge, rather. A bridge from one place to the other so that we can continue to build this. But the revolution is going to happen in Africa, the whole Africa. The continent is burning and people are tired. And because the diasporans are coming with that little bit of now, 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 my, you know, I know I like my Africans, y'all been waiting a long time and that, hey, that's, that's, that was okay. It's not okay no more, okay? You need more too, okay? We want you to be thriving and we want you to be happy. But we can't, but you're right. We cannot come foul. We cannot come left. We cannot come rude. We cannot do that. But like I said, whether we like the approach or not, elders, older people, you know, maybe disrespectfully old heads, whether we like it or not, it has already changed. It has already changed. So I'm behind them. I'm, I'm supporting these youth. I like them. I like them, y'all. And I like what's going on. And I'm for it. I'm for it. I'm going to keep making my curtains. That's my revolution because we need our own stuff in our own space. We need to wear our clothes. We need to celebrate ourselves, our beauty. Hey, hey, everybody got a part to play. What's yours? What's yours? Can you donate? Donate to the revolution. It's a beautiful thing. Hey, Judisha, haven't seen you in forever. How are you? That's right. That's right. That's right. From a, That's what she did. Thank you, that guy from Texas. I love her. Stopped her from a duck. Thank you. Come on now. I love that. Thank you, Asia. I need straight up and bold, too. That's right, Asia. Hey, hi, Queen. Hey, Satara Love. Nicole said the last poet. That's right, Queen. And that's why I'm about to write some poetry like that. Tiffany Bann is a stronger woman. Yes, Alika. You are right. We need to work together and not take over like the whites did. Yeah, that that is. And I'm going to speak on that some more. That's and that. Hey, hey, let's talk about it. We sick. We sick. Just like, you know, the master, like, Weez is sick, too. And that's why I am concerned about diasporans coming when we know we ain't well, okay? Because if we talk to anything like that, that we coming to take over, what kind of nonsense? That's, that's, some, that's, that's, that's some sickness. That's not even cool. That's not even, that's just ill. I, I mean, I, I ain't down with that. And let me just say, a lot of black Americans, we ain't feeling that and we don't want that. We want love and peace with our brothers and our sisters. But we must, and that's got to stop. So I don't mind y'all speak up about that. If that sister ain't right, then y'all take her to task. And y'all speak up. And black Americans, you speak up too. At the same time, though, don't get the message. Don't throw the, the African-American proverb. Do not throw the baby out with the bathwater. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Maybe the bathwater need to be clean. But the, what that baby got to say is pretty good. So let's deal with, is anything to somebody, if she's somebody talking about, this your children, this our children, we can't let that happen. Like that is, I'm strong about that. And I thought that Africans didn't, if anybody hurt the children, we about to fight. I thought that was a fight for y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? Or that the fact that we don't own anything or that, you know, you're right, we want to throw her out, but what about all the ones that's violating y'all, stealing? Even in Ghana, the problem of timber, the teak, you can't even get wood because they come over here and steal it. You can't even get the stuff. Your own rip, rape you of your resources, but they ain't disrespecting you. That's what somebody said. Well, but they're not disrespecting us. You don't think stealing your shit is disrespecting. Where I come from, you stole my shit, I'm going to kill you. And let me say this to you, too, that I, I find it hard to believe for Africans that don't think that theft is not a, a crime. In Africa, not all, but I know in Ghana, they beat your ass, okay? You a thief, a thief is going to get beat. Well, that's, those are thieves. So why you're not beating their asses? Since y'all beat asses, y'all beat your own asses, why you ain't beating theirs? So I'm just saying, like, let's open up a bit and start thinking, like, she's right. Why are we letting these, because they're not rude. It's rude to take what is not yours. It is rude to, to oppress. They are rude. And if that didn't tell you, when they do Africans out of their country, them, they rude too. So we got to have a better definition of what rude is. This is this idea. So you mean they're not verbal they just do it on the under and so that's okay and i think that's what black america trying to say no y'all they ain't meaning you no good they are rude and they are disrespectful and worse than ever they're they're doing violating your children is that okay is that because that's not okay with me 
It's not okay with me. So that I think that's the thing that, yeah, you're right. No, we don't want to take over, but y'all ain't deal with the first takeover. I think, I think as Africans, we have to deal with the first takeover. And then, because that, that's why our second takeover was going. But no, who wants African? And then somebody silly said, this African American, let me just say, because we, we, the elevator don't go into the top either for us. I'm just trying to tell you. We stick too. We sick. Somebody was like, well, I would rather have an African American oppressor. What kind of, this is what I heard in one of the comments. I was like, yeah, I can see why Africans is worried. I can see why continental Africans is worried. Did you hear this stupid shit this person just said? Well, wouldn't you rather have a black oppressor? See, that's some sickness. That, I, I'm, I'm doing my best to be balanced here because I see it on both sides. But I really know we got some issues too. And I know that we can't just come in here buck wild and be like, shoot them up, bang, bang. And then we ain't got no solutions. I, I agree that we got to work together, but I and I am not down for no African American takeover. We shouldn't even be talking like that because we're gonna make that shit happen. The most African Americans do not think that's cool, and we will we should take her to task on that and be like that shit is not cool. You say it again, we ain't supporting your ass no more. But we should not throw the baby out with the bathwater and say that everything's saying we should just ignore it. Like, why? We need to talk about this stuff. It's happening here. You know it is. When I see WP, when I see them folks here, I always look at Kwame and say, what do they want? You should ask the same thing every time you see one. What do they want? They want missionaries. Ooh, that's a good way to get next to the kids. We support a cathedral in Ghana. Uh, cathedrals pre. Ooh, I'm sorry. If we ain't get that one, if see, this is the kind of stuff that make us a little nervous about who's in power because, uh, cathedral. What is that connected to? I mean, let, this is already known. So it's just we gotta. Why are we scared? Of, don't be scared of them. You are more in numbers, and we are more in numbers, so we have to work together. But the youth is, yo, it don't even matter. We could sit here and intellectualize. We could theorize, but the youth is out there making that ish happen, and I, for one, am going to support them. Tell me if you are, too. Okay, let's start from the top. Hey, Asia Blessings, I'm here. Hey, Lisa Marie. Hey, Sister Lisa. Uh, that's from the guy from Texas. Hey, peace is Lisa Marie. Is everything all right with you, your sister? Yes, it is. Thank you. That's so sweet. Blackberry Orange, hello, Global Black Family. Yes, love your dress and necklace. Thank you. Welcome, everybody, everyone in the chat. Can we get some more thanks in advance? Yes, some thumbs up in advance, please. What happened? That guy, oh, just, I was just hyped because I was home and I got to watch some YouTubes. And DJ says, like, share, subscribe, comment, and donate. And it's all right there if you're feeling anything. Then we said, what happened? Hey, so Lisa hey, for nothing happened. I was just hyped because I'm so happy that the youth is bringing change. And I was just thinking about all these wonderful folks that's come to the continent and that's already in the continent that's really bringing change. You are right. We need to work together. I'll take over like the whites did. That's right. Tiffany Ban is a strong young woman. Yes, she is. The last poll is yes. Hi, queen. Hey, Satora. I need straight up and bold too. Yes, Tiffany Ban. Yeah, thank you. Now I know what that was. Brian says, I'm African and hurts to say most of our people are lost, but it's due to lack of education. You're right. They just don't know or, or, or understand. Sometimes I cry for all my black people. Yes, sweetie, me too. I felt you. I'm good. Been traveling. Well, I saw your travel. Judicia, so happy. Very Eurocentric mentality. Yes, we definitely can't come there like that. No. We have to understand this is spiritual warfare that has been going on for almost eternity. Come on, bright one. Yes, queen. Rebecca, hey, my sister, I'm on your live. Yes. Uh-huh, the whole missionary thing. Yeah, white Jesus. Yes, make it make sense. Definitely, definitely in support. But you are right, and that's nice to say that. I think that that's what happened, the, you know, brainwash education to make us the fool. Here is your reward for our love. Telling us of your God above, we gonna chase them crazy. That's what I'm saying. The brother already said it. Here comes the con man coming with his con plan. Hey, so I'm just like, you know, I mean, we got, do we need to play all the songs? Because we can do that. Matthew Dre, rise again. That's what we got out here. And that's what we got to remember, like, this is that education. Listen, the first thing y'all can do, take that white man off your troll troll. That don't make sense. 
I can't stand to see the G Namin sign next to him. What, what, he the one that, what? That ain't cool. Y'all black is tar, and I mean that respectfully because I'm black as tar too. We look stupid. That look real dumb. That ain't cool. That's ridiculous. And we got to open our eyes and say, wait a second. If I want to love Jesus, why he can't look like me? If I'm the first of the earth, how he going to be on my trotro? Yeah, I have a problem with that. So now I look at that on trotro, and I just look at them. I just go, this is, if, if, if we were some lighter skin, West African, we, we were some of the blackest people on the earth. But that's, see, that, there's that, but that's education. I understand that. So that, I'm not that mad, but I am. You didn't learn it. You learned wrong. We learned wrong too. We did too. But now it's time to learn right. That's all we're saying. We're all we're saying is we could say that this is why, but now we know. There's information. There's internet. There's YouTube. Come on, this is the dark mood because that light is like a damn like I'm on stage and I got light. It's too damn light, right? So let's move. <laughs> let's move. I'll give you a fair chance. Like, girl, we need to see you. You just talk about black as tar, and you talk about yourself, and we can't see your black beautiful behind, but it's, you know, it's dark. So let me help y'all out so we could really have a conversation. Yeah, y'all, we got to do better, and we got to start educating ourselves, and we got to understand who's the enemy. Y'all, I'm telling you, you can read articles about it. They steal the timber. They steal the mahogany. They stole some. They ain't no gold on the Gold Coast. That's why it's gone now. It ain't Gold Coast. We took that. We didn't take that. They took that. And they still take it. When you see them in your land, why don't you question them? Because I like to. I want to know why. I ask Kwame all the time, why they here? What do you think that man right there, that woman, why she's here? Oh, they could be missionary. Well, they need to get, that's their problem number one. What else? Because I have a feeling it's way more than missionary. Oh, yeah, it's missionary to get close to our kids. That's what I think. Now, I don't know what juice we drink or what sober low we drinking, but it ain't strong enough because it's got us in a daze and confused. When we don't stand up for our children, that's a problem. When we let them come there and we got them hugging our children. I saw one the other day. I couldn't believe it. There's a black baby, beautiful black baby, and it's me holding that baby, and it was some black women around him. I was like, what's this right here? I wanted to say the same thing, but the sister's looking at me crazy. I, I'm looking at you crazy. Why is he holding that baby like that? It's not right. It's not right. So you got to fight, and you got to do it in your way. So I'm just trying to educate and relate. You know, I, like I said, I don't care about the YouTube channels. I mean, as far as a thousand subscribers, I just know when I get on, I'm going to keep it real and straight. They ain't right. And these and, and people are people are tired and they're tired and I don't understand if you let that happen to your children they're gonna come out confused. You got these children, they some of them are infants. You letting them go with these folks. What's going? What they gonna turn out to be if they live to twelve? If they don't take their lives? If they don't kill themselves? What they gonna be? I mean, it's this is this is deep. So. I want us to all work together and really see the big picture. So, okay, I'm done. Yes, missionaries paved the way for businesses. Oh, is that, is that what it is? Uh, right, Natural Clever says, yes. Right, and the whole color doesn't matter. The few times I told those WPs in response, they put a black, he's in their home and church. They look like you, yeah, they look like you crazy. It's so true. Yes, my little niece in Ghana play with oh yes white dolls too so you see how bad it's going right yes honorable robin that's the marley said it. he said it all didn't he yeah he said it all he got i'm talking about i always think about it. he said and he is your reward for our love telling us of your god above we got to chase them crazy now i'm some crazy ball heads out of town so anyway, I'm excited. I need to talk to Kwame. He got a whole bunch of stuff. I ain't seen him all day. So he got pictures and we got to keep going. And my revolution is the, is the mask, is, the, is, our, is our image, in our own image. That's why the Jesus is important to be black, in our own image. I'm real about that. To the end, y'all, to the end. But all everybody else, let these youngsters fight. Let them come up. We just got to love them, protect them, and guide them, and they're going to be okay. 
you have to send them beautiful black dolls. It's so important. You so right, and I got a whole bunch of black dolls, and I'm going to start giving some away. Yeah, because, yeah, my family members, I thought I saw one of their kids with a white doll, and I said something about it, and I didn't see that doll no more. So we do have to speak up. All right, ladies, I love you. So wait, like, share, subscribe, comment. Share these videos, like these videos, comment. I love your comments and donate, donate. So I can get this website together so we can keep creating, so we can keep talking about our culture. It's, I mean, it's not to say, so because look at it, we could talk about diasporans, oh, they all come here and make Okay, well, not all of us. I'm, I'm talking about indinkra symbols. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I want to learn the language. I want to talk about the, the, the protection and the spiritual side. Eat, ask from love, eat, love, migrate, same thing. We're all raising up the culture and we're all reminding ourselves of the greatness. You don't need to have him on there. You got greater than that. And we just need to learn about that. But that's all going to change. Africa's curriculum is going to change. African leadership is going to change. People in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, we ain't living forever. Like I said, we got, more, we got more years behind us than we do in front of us. But these youth got a whole bunch of years, and I'm very excited for this revolution. May we live through it. May we be healthy. May we change the, the, the fabric of our lives to be something worth living. I know we can do it. I know we can do it. And I love y'all. So I'm going to be bold in my, in my, you know, my decor. And I'm going to represent us. Because that queen, she told me that. I love you. And happy Kwame Nkrumah's, Ghana's first president's birthday is today. That brother was on fire, wasn't he? We got to love him. Love you, ladies. That's right. Now, that's true, too, Lady K. Lady K says, some people can, cannot be saved, nor do they want to be. That's right, queen. You right. You have to send them beautiful. Yes, that's all of it. We're going to do all of that. I'll talk to you. Yes. Oh, you talk about the sister for her, for her nieces. Yes. I'll see y'all tomorrow, y'all. Business is calling. Peace and blessings.